Hi, John here from Benson Fiat and Alfa Romeo in Greer, South Carolina. There's my card and contact information if you need to reach me. Well, I've got several cars in my little fleet, and one of them, and the smallest one, is a smart car. I have a Smart 4.2, a 2012, and um, I uh, decided to do some modifications on the exhaust system, so I wanted to make a little video to show what it is that I have on here, and anyone who wants to modify, change, or per perhaps r and r the uh, catalytic converter or muffler this give you an idea of what you're looking at when you get into this so um, i found a solo performance exhaust uh you know muffler from uh, a parts yard believe it or not these things are over 400 dollars if you buy them online i'd lucked out one day and found one in an lkq i don't know it was like 15 bucks or something so what a great deal it was. I've wrapped it in some tape, as you can see, to keep the heat away from uh, some of the plastic panels that are right behind it. So you can see that's the little wrap job I did with some, um, you know, some ties there. But anyway, I also found a Doug Thornley header, and uh, this actually goes in this way once you install it. But there it is, Doug Thornley headers. I found this thing used. It... Um, has a little uh, O2 port right here, which I've cleaned up with a, a little thread chaser. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and mount this now and hopefully give me a little bit more power and a little bit better sound. As you can see from the OEM unit, this is the uh, original catalytic converter right here. And you can see there's an O2 sensor right here and there's another O2 sensor back there standing straight up. So uh, I'm going to be uh, changing those out and putting this uh, header in. So anyway, um, before I get started and showing you what you need to do, I want to show you the plastic panel that you remove. And there's videos online of how to do that. Let me walk over here real quick and show you. This is the rear panel I removed on this car. And uh, as you can see, you've got two screws here. These are um, T25 Torx head screws. There's one right here. There's two more over here. So those are all identical. When you come around the bottom side of the car, once you take the lower valence panel off, there's two right there, if you can see that. And then these, this panel just snaps out, see? it's just It just pulls out. So be very careful you can pull that thing right out of the um, uh, edges right there on both sides. Over here, it's a little trickier because you have the fuel. And uh, basically, just take the cap off, take the tether off, and then you'll have to disconnect this uh, little connector right here but I just went ahead and put the fuel cap back on just to um, make sure I don't have any fumes around the garage. There's the other points right there for your T25. Those are a longer screw. The taillight assembly just goes in, believe it or not, there's this one little locator tab that goes in and then you kind of rotate the uh, taillight assembly to get it in there, but it's held on with a little clip up on top. And then right here, this is for your lights. You just push this little tab there's your uh, lights, your uh, you know tail light, turn signal, and backup light, and then this is the connector here for the whole assembly, which is uh, stays in the car. There's a little door you can get into, but there's a clip that holds this on, and I wanted to point this out. This is a tiny little clip that you use that holds this tail light assembly in, and you can see there is the locating clip right here. So when you get Get oh, there is when you're ready to um, install it. You can see where it comes out, and the, the tail light assembly sort of pivots backwards, and that's how you uh, get that in there. So be careful not to break it. But uh, pretty easy job to take this apart. And so, okay, so we got that, and let's take a look at the car again. Here's the surface that it goes against. This is the little channel that that little tongue and groove. Uh, tabs right in. This is your two T25 screws that go in here. And I broke this one uh, trying to take it out. So I just have a licensed fastener that you could buy at any auto parts store. And that'll go right in that square hole and pop in there. So that'll solve that issue. And you can reuse a screw. This is the air intake over here on this side. And then, of course, the light for the tail, tail light lens um, on both sides. And then right here is my tether disconnected. Here's my... Um, little fuel uh, connector right here and so I've taken that off and there's the T25 they're kind of a longer screw now you do have to pull the lower panels off first before you can really get to it but all this stuff just sort of snaps in place there's a little little uh, 
um, you know, anchor right there on both sides. There's two of them, so you got to pop those off as well. Anyway, the car's pretty easy to take apart, but let's get back to the exhaust system. A um, couple of things I wanted to show you first. These are the tools that you're going to need, the sockets and wrenches. So um, a T25 Torx to take the plastic panel off, a T45 Torx to take off this bumper that's just to the right of the camera here. And then you'll need a M18 1.5 oxy sensor tap. This will allow you to chase any threads and clean it up once you remove the O2 sensors. And um, those are available online. I think this is a OEM brand number 24255. If you can see that, there's the part. And uh, you can buy those, it's a M18 1.5. And then here's a T45. Now, um, removing this bumper assembly, these are the screws. You can see it goes right in here counterclockwise to take these two out. And there's one that goes in backwards. So um, there's a thread impression on that bumper right here. That shows you where to remove that. So there's three on each side and uh, pretty easy to take off. So use the left side there, there's the right side. And then the exhaust hangs on this little rubber hanger right here. Now, when I put this on and remove the very, very heavy OEM muffler assembly, I put a couple of pieces of scrap threaded uh, steel in there just to keep that thing from rattling around a little bit. Um, those mounts were getting a little bit worn, but instead of replacing them, I just put that in there to make it nice and steady and um, it's worked out perfectly well. So as you can see, there's the catalytic converter right there and the solo performance exhaust is right here. Um, now, in order to get back to the header, in order to install this, and by the way, this kind of goes like this. So when this is up in there, you can see that mating surface there to my left of my hand um, next to the catalytic converter. So that's, that's kind of how that mounts. So anyway, it's got four bolts that hold that in, and there is a gasket there. You may be able to reuse the original OEM gasket, but um, anyhow. So when you get up here, there are several uh, fasteners to take off. There's the two right there. There's one on either side. That's an E12 is what you'll need to take off that, um, that, that bolt that holds the catalytic converter to the lower part of the exhaust. And then up on the top, there's a heat shield, and you see those are um, E10 sockets. Again, they're a little fragile, they get rusted, so you wanna make sure you have the right socket and put a little bit of um, PB Blaster on there. And then there's a lower shield at the bottom of the header, and you can see where I've marked it. Um, there's, um, let me get the camera here, here we go. Maybe you can see that. There's a little bolt right there, and there's, there's a couple, two or three of them you gotta take off to get to it. And then the header uses a 12 millimeter um, hex head. So again, be very careful when working with that. It's very tight confines, especially um, just getting it apart. But anyhow, so that's what's underneath there. And part of the reason to show you this video is just uh, to indicate what's involved in removing the entire exhaust system. Most people talk about just putting this performance header on and don't ever talk about removing the catalytic converter. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is on the one liter three-cylinder smart car. This is very typical. You can see there's the uh, uh, there's the oil filter right there that I recently changed and uh, I'm using a mobile one with 0W40 oil so uh, you know pretty easy to change it. There's a drain plug off there to the right and uh, you know typically you don't even have to lower the car but you know this is a pretty simple system and uh, the sound is really going to be good once I, um, once I go ahead and replace this, this um, header system. So anyway, again, there's the tools that you need. And um, I've got pretty much all of them laid out here. There'll be other tools that you'll need, of course, but uh, those are the essence of what you're gonna need to do this job. So again, keep your PB Blaster handy and um, hopefully the job will go smoothly for you. And hope you, uh, enjoyed this video by the way um, if you need to get an e-socket set that's what I bought from Harbor Freight so that's what it looks like they're very cheap they're probably twenty dollars or so to get a whole set so anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and 
I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to crank this car before I take it apart so you can hear what it sounds like with a solo exhaust. sounds pretty cool and that's before the header so I think it uh, will scare children and small animals but um, anyway we're gonna see if we can do a little bit more uh, but that's all I have for my little uh, shop today and I hope you'll uh, get a chance to uh, do the job a little bit easier by watching this video again there's my contact information right there and John at BensonFiat.com I'm on Eastern Time so I hope you have a great day and uh, whatever you're driving whether it be a smart car or something a little bit bigger I hope you uh, uh, enjoy it and have a good week. Take care.